I'm not here for me, it's for a friend. <laughs> How did things go at the doctor, Sophia? He said I had the body of a 40-year-old. A dead 40-year-old. <laughs> the doctor's gonna be a little while. I guess we ought to sit down. I suppose it's safe. <laughs> Mama, you're acting silly. Sperm can't live outside the human body. Does your mother know you're doing this for a living? You know, I'm not so sure sperm can't live outside the body. Back during World War II, my best friend, Claire Osterhaus's husband, was in the army and stationed in France. Well, five months after he left St. Olaf, she got pregnant. A lot of people thought she was fooling around, but she told me that sperm must have swum from Normandy, across the Atlantic, up the St. Lawrence Seaway, into the Great Lakes, and then over to Minnesota. And what did you think, Rose? Well, I know those little guys are supposed to be good swimmers. But I think it had to come over by mail. I bet this is more fun than giving blood. I've waited long enough. That doctor has wasted enough of my time. Come on. Miss Devereux.